So. Hey, folk. Glad to see you here at ICES. What are you doing here at ICES, and how does it uh, tie in with your project? Well, we have a long-term project studying the Baltic Sea, trying to make television and film about the situation in the Baltic Sea in Holland in the next 10 years. But every second year, we're going to have a new documentary coming out. And now we've been uh, working on this for two years. So our first documentary deals with fishing in the Baltic Sea. Mm -hmm. And the film is going to be uh, broadcasted in September, October. And of course, if you deal with fishing in the Baltic Sea, you will end up here in ice sooner or later. Mm -hmm. But this is the place where the advice is collected that give us to the decision making. Okay. Um, what is your interest actually in ecology? I, I understand you come from a general uh, journalistic background. How did you get interested in the Baltic all of a sudden? I've been traveling all over the world, and I've been covering um, different disasters, earthquakes, and wars. But also, I imagine the disasters in faraway countries. And I moved back to Sweden to Stockholm, I thought, well, why, why don't we look at our own backyard, look at the Baltic Sea, for instance, how are we actually handling the situation there? And well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to, to understand that there could be more done. And I've always been interested to, to kind of um, to communicate the results of science and general audience. I think it's very important for society, uh, for the citizens, the public, to understand what the scientists are doing for it. Sure. Uh, is ICE your first stop on this uh, tenure trip? Mm, we've been working more or less two years now, and uh, we've been stopping at several places uh, before coming here. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the more important stops on this first trip we have now. Okay. What are the problems of imagining a project like this over a period of 10 or 12 years? It's impossible to foresee where it's going to go. But since we have these um, two-year um, chances to, uh, to, to conclude um, and, and, and outlet and broadcast, we think that uh, five films in 10 years, during a course of 10 years, that's uh, very sufficient. On the same side, we're also trying to produce a, a more of a feature documentary for theatrical release dealing with all 10 years, following life under and above the border during those 10 years. And that's very challenging. So we have the television documentaries and we have the feature documentaries. And together, I think we're going to have a decent chance to be Okay. What have you done to prepare yourself? I presume a non scientist. What have you done? to prepare yourself for, su for taking on such a huge uh, challenge scientifically? Well, there are two things you can do. You can read and you can talk. I've been doing both. Trying to, try to, of course, uh, to meet with all the most important people in the field, trying to read the most relevant literature, uh, not scientific papers, basically, but more articles and newspapers. Okay. Are you up? optimistic at this moment, shall we say at the beginning of the project, mm -hmm. how optimistic are you that the Baltic can be saved? It's a good question, if I'm optimistic or not. I would say that the challenges are huge. Mm -hmm. We have not reached the point of no return. Mm -hmm. I think that 90 million people living around the Baltic Sea, the affecting the Baltic Sea, are very curious and very interested, but don't know much about the scene they are affecting. And our challenge and our mission is try to communicate and inform and educate those 90 million people. And if we are successful, I think the both sea will be a success. Okay. And uh, who, who's helping you to pay for this project? Where's the funding coming from? We're funded initially by the Foundation of the Baltic Sea 2020, right? Swedish uh, Foundation, and uh, they gave us the grant to start, and uh, eventually we were getting support from all public broadcasters around the world. Okay. What have I forgotten to ask you that's important that I should have asked you? Well, um, uh, I think uh, the question of uh, how we've been treated here at IT is a relevant question. Okay, please answer. <laughs> Uh, uh, in the statutes, it says that uh, ISIS should be an organization that's transparent and open, mm -hmm. and there's been some debate about that. 
and um, we've been coming here now with our camera, we've been here for a little more than half a day, but so far, I must say, we have only seen the transparent open side of this organization. Thank you very much, folks. Good luck with your project. Well, thanks.